Uh, well, Bellady Project has come from Alice, you know, um, she came approached me about this project to do Moriad. I was very happy um, to do this because I also work with recycling. Um, so it's a kind of a great moment for Marrakesh, uh, for Morocco, uh, to have this, this uh, project here to make more awareness. You know, as you know, Morocco is also a recycled country anyway. By, without a choice because the way people live um, and I think Baladi will highlight something in Morocco that we already have that we could work on and progress in this and I think this is a great great uh, moment. So how, you, how do you think your work is contributing to awareness population to sustainable development? Well as I said I think you know I'm coming from <coughs> a place as I said before where there's recycling happening naturally and lots of my work, I use this as part of uh, as in, in my arts. Um, and again, for me, it goes along certain lines, i.e. if I'm working here with the, the artisaners and stuff, so they're putting back uh, back to the community and not and also not losing what the old style of uh, artisan. So I think, again, it's, a, it's an interesting question because there's a whole mixture of it as I say there's a you know at the moment there's a big light bulb on, on, on the globe about this kind of you know uh, on the earth or all this situation we're having and I think uh, you, you know what I'm seeing Morocco could be in, in Africa is the forefront for this and for me I'm you know I'm happy to be part of this uh, journey uh, whatever I can help um, my thing with this is what happens after COP22 goes because you know the, it's like there's a, something they put a seed here, but it'd be good to oversee it long term so people don't go back to their bad habits. Um, what, do you, what do you think is the um, upcycling and circular economy um, important for the future of Morocco and maybe Africa and? Uh, well, I think it's very important because, as you know, the not just you know before it was just like places like what so-called the third world that was this was happening naturally, and now it's the the great thing is the West is working up because you know, also you know we have this big problem in the globe with this situation that the globe has to get together to make a change, and as in our conversation, it will take probably generations. Um, so. This is a, a good question because it's something that we all need to work on. Uh, you know, it just happened that Morocco's uh, has this moment of this, um, and it'd be great that this kind of blueprint spreads around the world. And you think Morocco is could be a leader in this area? Uh, I really hope. Yeah, if we recycle, I hope so. You know, if you look at Africa, Caribbean, South America, you know, as I say, what so-called third world countries? India, you can go back. Recycling is part of their daily life. Uh, you know, people don't have a choice, so it's making something out of nothing. Um, so this is already happening. Um, you know, there's a trend thing that's happening in Europe about this recycling. You know, the environment and stuff. And I don't want, uh, for me, I don't want it to be a trend. I want it to be something that's actually this uh, action. We're already in recycling in Morocco, and something like COP22 being here it gives us in Morocco that we could be the forefront of, uh, of Africa or you know in the world in a sense um, but to do this again it's going to take time it needs overseeing it needs patience it needs you know as I say time to, to do this. Will you have the chance to meet leaders and politicians? Uh, I mean I don't know <laughs> uh, to meet these people you know I'm, I'm committed here for, for, for the week in Riyadh uh, with Bellady, so for me this is the important thing. If there is, it'd be great. I think it's going to be a very busy bit week for everybody, and there's lots of stuff going on in Marrakesh. You know, there's uh, everybody has something which is great. So it's created uh, more work, more you know, more stuff going on. Um, so if this happens, you know, be a, you know, I'd be very honoured. Um, what would you like to say to them? If you had a message to <laughs> to them. To tell the leaders of the uh, planet? Uh, well, you know, not just yeah. for something like that, not to just be here because of this moment, it's actually doing something long term, not just to use, you know, because uh, I don't want Marrakesh to be an exotic backdrop for this. 
is just to come and experience the, this and, and, and show your face. It's, it's about action.